Starting with Payne's Gray and I'm doing the beak. There you go. I'm gonna go around the special part that you see with a swan and the eye is right there. There. Now I saw some real dark paints gray on my brush. I'm gonna come over here. I'm going to do these little feet. You can't really tell what it is, so it's not important to do any detail. Then I'm coming over here with the dark still, and I'm going to do this part of his wing. Come up and around here. This is where you want to get into fiddly diddly detail a little bit more than before. There. Okay, that's it. So now I'm going to come, my paint on my brush is a little bit more faded because it's not as wet. That's why I do the dark spots first. So it's not as dark. And so it's just going to make a nice shadow right there. Mm -hmm. That's nice. I can tell now that this paper is really absorbent and that's okay um, it's different than I've been painting on so I'm just gonna have to know that it's different and that's okay ah, that's okay so now I'm gonna get it a little more wet oops I'm gonna get this wet and I'm pretty much going to just paint that part. I'm going to do moon glow. That's wet so my moon glow is going to go right on there and moon glow has a great um, color play property. It does amazing things and so I'm actually just drawing this with my paintbrush right now and I'm going to come in back afterwards and smooth it in a little bit because that's going to really show on there. Okay, there we go. We got that. Now, the trick is the amount of water I have on my brush and I go back and forth because I have a certain amount, uh, a degree of paint. And I'm just going really with a light. Um, there's not very much paint on this brush. It's mostly water. So when you put it on here, it's gonna, it's kinda gonna spread a little bit, but that's, that's okay, that's, it's hard to, anyway. That's okay. I want to get this as dark as I can. So I'm just kind of layering it in there while it's still wet. Also, I, I didn't want to touch this part with a wet, dark, dark brush. It's paint's gray. 
and I'm going to come up here. Okay. I cover it up like this so I can see what I'm doing. <laughs> okay. I'm going back. I'm going to my itty bitty brush. And I'm going into Moon Glow. And I'm taking kind of from the water. And I'm going down these feathers. In the last one, I left a lot of whites, and I love that. But with a picture like this, it's hard to leave whites because, you know, you have a picture. You have to paint. You can't just leave white. But with my watercolor, the whites are actually a sign of, like, being a really good watercolor if you can leave the, as much white let the imagination take over but I am demonstrating this for you so okay so I'm looking at it. whoa that's coolness all right so I need a little I'm still going in a moon glow it it's a nice it's actually a purpley color and I'm hoping that the water that was on there before is going to kind of spread this and soften it. But we do need to have some of that down in here. So I'm actually, it's so I la I'm layering it. You saw I put a little on there and now I put a little more. Now this is just water. I'm going to soften all that down a little bit with just a little bit of water. Good Akron and gold. <laughs> I just love it. I'm going to put it in here somewhere. How about right here? Okay. And in here. I, the, this color is spectacular. I think I might go back over here with some of it too. Like this. Like that. That's good. That's good. Now, okay. I think it's at the place where I want it. So I'm going to make a suggestion here with a little bit of it. Because the top of this bird can be yellow. It can be. <laughs> it would like to be. And then the top of the wing here. That's nice, right? Like that. A little more water. There we go. Now I'm going to... I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to wait. So that's pretty much it. Not bad. So we look at it. That's pretty simple. I hope you like that. Simple little picture of a swan. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I got it too big. Ah, I'm going to start over. <laughs> My prerogative to start over. Okay.